Dr. Shaheed here from Irvine Spine and Wellness Center, your Irvine chiropractor. Let's talk about sciatica. It's misdiagnosed more than diagnosed correctly. So watch this video to know if you actually have sciatica and what to do if it is actually sciatica. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about sciatica. Sciatica, sciatic nerve starts right here and goes straight down. So just because you've got pain in your back going into your glutes or pain in your back going down your legs doesn't mean you have sciatica. So don't mix your terminology here. It has to go straight down smack in the middle of your um, leg. So if it starts here, and starts going to the side, it doesn't have to be sciatica. It's more than likely piriformis syndrome, which is a piriformis muscle being involved, and it's an imposter. It mimics as if it's a nerve thing. That's the issue with trigger points. I've done a whole video on piriformis syndrome, so make sure you check it out, and we'll make sure that we put it at the end of this video. So once again, just because you've got pain going down your leg does not mean you have sciatica. What is the question? The question then is, what do you need to do if you have it? More than likely, you need to look into the cause, which comes more than likely from your work. A lot of times people are just parking themselves on their chairs so much they're sitting down with their legs stretched so it really pulls on that sciatic nerve it stretches it so that is really contributing sometimes people sit and this is typically when the chair is not appropriate or the person is a little bit on the shorter side they sit at the edge of their chair and there's like a compression of the uh, of the nerve right at the point where the legs touching the chair and the edge of it is a little bit on the sharper side so it irritates the nerve adjustment helps but it's not going to make it go away i've done a whole video on sciatic nerve flossing i'm going to make sure to put it at the end of this video also so generally speaking when you have sciatica the first thing to do is to really not stretch the nerve so much. Stretching the nerve includes you sitting and looking down with your leg extended. That would be one way that the nerve gets stretched. So the best thing to do is to first look into your work environment, then go see your chiropractor for an adjustment. You do gentle flossing of the nerve. There is some soft tissue work that needs to be done. And the most important thing, once you've eliminated the cause, if it comes from your work, is to work on your posture. Because you don't necessarily have to have a jacked up work environment to irritate your soft tissue and your nerves are soft tissue. So when your postural balance is compromised, it's very easy to start irritating structures like your nerves, your muscles, your connective tissues, ligaments, tendons, things like that. So sciatica is not any leg pain. And also sciatica is unless there's a structural abnormality, which can exist, hardly ever is the case. Every case of sciatica, with the exception of that, comes from an imbalanced posture. This is your clue that you need to look into your posture. Check out my website, check out my YouTube channel, which is packed with a lot of postural exercises you can do. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, do so. This is a good time for you to subscribe to the channel and also, while you're at it, check out the podcast I have, Life and Health Matters with Dr. Shaheed. It's all about empowering you with the information. What you do with the info 
is on you. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.